When I came up uh, in 77, um, things were going well for me. Uh, NASA was developing this new machine called the Space Shuttle. I said, ooh, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> they were interested in finding some astronauts to fly in space. I said, ooh, maybe I should do that, you know. So um, they went out for uh, looking for astronauts, and in 77, uh, they had a call for astronauts, and 8,000 people applied for the program. Uh, and they were looking for people to fly this new machine called the Space Shuttle, and I, I put in my application, and uh, uh, in 77, NASA started looking at all 8,000 of us, and they started to winnie this group down, uh, and they finally winnied it down to about what they call 200 finalists. The, the, the supposedly the cream of the clock crop. And then every, uh, during the summer of 77, they brought groups of 20 of us in. Uh, and I remember in October, I was uh, away. I was in Washington, D.C. I got this little note which indicated, hey, you've been <coughs> selected as a finalist show up on, on Sunday. So I did that. And it was cool. I showed up at the Johnson Space Center. They uh, they give you a physical that lasts a week, so they know everything about you. There's no need in hiding it, because they'll find it. Then, then they'll expose you to a psychiatrist, you know, and, and, and you're sitting there with a the psychiatrist, and you're, he's asking you a question, and you give him an answer, and you're hoping that it's the right, right answer, you know, you're not sure one way or another. But you also have an opportunity to meet uh, some NASA astronauts, and you're excited by that. And uh, you look at the machines that were flying <coughs> and, and all that sort of stuff. So it was an exciting, it was an exciting experience. In uh, January of 78, I was uh, en route to work one Monday morning and heard on the radio that NASA selected 35 astronauts. And I said, oh my goodness. You know. So um, I was curious at who these guys were, because I'm pretty sure they leaped tall buildings with a single bound and walked on water, all that sort of stuff. So I was curious, like everybody else, at who these 35 astronauts were. And uh, I wasn't in the office any more than a couple hours when I got this call from this guy. And um, he called me, he said he was from NASA. And I said, yeah, yeah. And then he said, hey, you know, uh, what's the weather like up there in Dayton, Ohio? Well, this was uh, the winter of 78, and we had snow drifts of 10 to 15 feet and 40 to 50 knots, and I was moaning and groaning, and I don't know, I can't take this anymore. You know, I don't like this snow. I mean, there's more, you know. So I went on, I went on for a while, and he quietly listened to me, and then he said, you know, it doesn't snow in Houston. Would you like to come to Houston? <laughs> And at that point, I knew that I'd made it into the astronaut program. <laughs>